Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. I hope all of you are doing well and doing great. Thank you for joining this today's webinar. My name is Deepak, and I have 15 plus years of experience in this field. And I have designed and deployed solutions for various uh, organizations. Along with that, you know, I have certain patents on my name. So I hope that you are going to enjoy this today's webinar and you're going to learn a lot. So the topic for today is analyzing data with Power BI desktop. So let's get started. This is basically the agenda for today. So we are going to talk about today uh, what exactly is Power BI, the different components of Power BI that we have. In addition to that, we are going to talk about some of the key challenges that we face and Power BI desktop. Okay, so let's talk about, you know, what exactly is Power BI. So before we talk about other of the components, in you know, the components of Power BI and all that kind of stuff, first of all, we had to understand what exactly is Power BI. So basically, you know, Power BI, you can say it's basically is a free business intelligence cloud service provided by Microsoft. So since this is free, that's why it has uh, more, uh, you know, weightage in the market because there is no extra cost associated with that. And that's one of the free business intelligence cloud service that Microsoft is provided. So it basically has a couple of features in total. It has basically four uh, features. One is aggregating, second is analyzing, third is visualizing, fourth is shared data. So aggregating basically means that you are going to combine the data, you are going to aggregate the data from uh, different sources, and you are going to put it into a single repository. Sharing data basically means that you are going to share the data between uh, different components. Visualizing basically means that uh, with the help of which if you want to create a visualization, like for example, if I want to create any kind of design, Basically, I have to create a structure. Before that, I want to create the design. Design, I'm creating high level. I want to create a low level design so that I can visualize how the different components are going to communicate with each other. I want to have a way of visualization that also it supports and analyzing, wherein you can just analyze each of the components and its subcomponents as well. Moving on, let's talk about what are the components of Power BI. So, in general, Power BI has eight components which is Power Query, Power Pivot, Power View, Power Map, Power BI Service, Data Management Gateway, Data Catalog, Power by QA. So let's talk about you know, each of them one-on-one. -on -one. Again, every component in itself is a different world. So uh, if we want to talk, you know, I can go in much more detail uh, about everything. And for every component, I can just explain you theoretically and practically for at least, you know, four hours. But based on the kind time constraint, uh, we are not going to go in detail. I'm just going to tell you the overview of it. So we, let's start with the first one, which is Power Query. So what exactly is Power Query? Power Query helps you to search, assess, and transform your public and internal data sources with Power Query. So wherein you can just write the query and you can communicate, for example, you need English language to communicate with another person, right? Likewise, here in this case, uh, you are going to write the query so that you can uh, communicate with the components and the other subcomponents. Next one that we basically have is a Power Pivot. Power Pivot basically is easy data modeling uh, in memory analytics with Power Pivot. The third one basically is uh, Power View. So it basically helps you to analyze, visualize, and display data as an interactive data visualization tool. Next one basically is a Power Map which basically helps to bring data to life with interactive visualization. So you can basically, in other words, you can just uh, create the entire map visualization with the help of which you can basically coordinate with different different components. Like you must have heard about Visio software. So it's like that only uh, in the case of Power Map, you can just uh, achieve the same kind of thing. Next is a Power BI service. So Power BI service uh, helps you to share your data views and work groups from on-premise and cloud-based data resources. So that's again one of the very coolest thing that you can have on-prem and the cloud-based. So if you don't know one on-prem is, on-prem basically is your basically the your data center. Like for example, if I have created 10 servers at my location with the help of which I'm hosting some service or people are using it, that's my on-premise, which is which is at my premises, at my data center. Cloud is basically something uh, which is like, you know, data which is residing on the cloud, uh, wherein uh, you don't have to maintain data center, you are just paying for the services and various companies are providing various cloud services. Like for example, your Microsoft has their own cloud service, which is known as Azure. Your Google have their own, which is GCP, which is Google Cloud Platform. Amazon has its own, which is known as AWS. Next one basically is Power BI Q&A. 
So here in this case, you can ask questions and you can get immediate answers with natural language query. Next one basically that you have is DMG. So some people get confused DMG with DMZ. So Z basically data, uh, sorry, data management gateway helps you to have periodic data refreshers, expose data, tables, views as object data free to external consumers. And the last one you have is data catalog, which is basically metadata for facilitated search functionality. And as well as in this user can easily discover and they can also use the queries. Yeah. Moving on again, everything basically comes with pros and cons. So here also we basically have uh, certain challenges. So let's talk about what are the, uh, you know, some of the challenges that we have here. So uh, one of the primary challenges like measuring the right indicators because you have a lot of choices. So you need to have a way through which you want to measure like what are the right indicators? What are the components of it? So you need to have a way uh, a, a technique through which you can easily measure it out. So that is not uh, very easy. Sometimes, uh, you know, having so many options creates sometimes a big issue wherein you are not able to figure it out, like which is the right thing for you at which kind of situation of time. Like, for example, at this point of situation, maybe uh, if I'm going to use um, the directly on prem can be good, but at the other moment, maybe the cloud can be a good service for me. So you have a variety of, you know, choices here. So like in, in uh, certain cases, you cannot measure the right indicators. Next one is basically delivering mobile BI. So sometimes to, to getting this delivered is basically more of an issue wherein, um, you know, like if you want to get this component delivered, you basically uh, face a lot of issues because wherein uh, sometimes certain components are linked with your environment where you have developed it. And if you want to migrate to other environment, then in that case, there are some of the components which are not supported, uh, you know, so due to mixed match configuration, sometimes it is not supported. Sometimes in the delivery side, you face a problem. So you have to basically see that on the other side, if they, they use the same environment or not. Next one is basically analyzing data from different sources. So here in this case, you can have data from different sources and you know that your data is a crude oil. So again, it, it is compatible with uh, so many sources of data, but in certain cases it is not compatible. So you have to basically uh, analyze uh, data from different sources and you have to find out that first of all, it's going to be compatible. Do you need data from all these sources or not? So all that kind of things you have to take into consideration. Next one is lack of BI strategy. So you don't have any kind of a, like a full fledged developed strategy that you can use it always. So uh, that's something you have to de design and you have to basically define for your requirement. Sometimes due to lack of experience, if you are a newbie with this uh, and, and most of the cases it happen that you are not able to define it properly, which creates a big hassle. Next one is poor data quality and interactivity. So uh, having the, uh, the communication between two data strings, it's not that efficient that you can get to the other platforms. Next one is lack of company wide adaption. So uh, like I said, if you are going to have different components in which you want to do the integration or you want to migrate, it creates an issue. Next is a poor interactivity. So if you're going to use a by default mechanism interface, then interactivity is not so good. You can use other uh, simulation tools, but there is a cost associated with that. The last one is expensive. If you're going to combine all these different solutions just to make it more, uh, you know, more efficient, then the cost is going to be high. Now, moving on, let's basically talk about structured learning at Edureka. So let's get started. So this is basically the structured learning from Edureka. So if you're planning to take the course from us, then in that case, this, this is going to be the structured learning, the way uh, this entire course is basically being designed. So in the first class, you're going to learn about Power BI. So you're going to learn about uh, what exactly is Power BI, the different components of it and different subcomponents of it. In the first class, that's something you're going to learn and uh, with the perspective hands-on. Because like I said, uh, we always focus on the theoretical part and as well as the practical part. Because we want that all the people who are taking course from us can uh, also be very efficient in terms of practicals and all. That's the first thing. Next thing is next class you're going to learn about Power BI desktop and data transformation. So uh, with the perspective hands on in the third class, you're going to learn about data analysis expression with the perspective hands on on it. In the next class, in the fourth class, basically you're going to learn about data visualization and the hands on in the fifth class. You're going to learn about introduction about like uh, common PI, BI services, Q and a Q can say like some of the components that I already explained to you, but in, uh, in our course, we are going to go in much more detail with the perspective hands on. 
in the sixth class you're going to learn about connectivity modes with the perspective hands-on in the seventh class we're going to learn about power bi report servers with the perspective hands-on in the eighth class uh, you're going to learn about r and python how you can use with power bi with the perspective hands-on and in the ninth class you're going to learn about advanced analytics in power bi with the perspective hands-on and the 10th class you're going to learn about uh, with a small project with some of the use cases some of the practical demonstrations and you're going to become an expert and you're going to have a cape okay so let's move on let's talk about power bi desktop what exactly is power bi desktop so there are a couple of things that uh, you know have to take into consideration because there are various integration various components which can be integrated very easily now coming to the power bi desktop what exactly is power bi desktop this is an application that can be installed on a local computer which lets you to connect to transform and visualize your data like these are the three components the connection transform visualize so you can basically you know perform all these three things easily with power bi desktop so that's it for today looking forward to meet you in the upcoming webinars thanks for joining this i hope it was very interesting knowledgeable for you and wishing you and everyone a great day ahead